Robin Hood. Tottenham are Robin Hood of the Premier League. One minute we beat Man City, one minute we beat Aston Villa. And then we give first wins to Crystal Palace and Ipswich. It ain't good enough. This manager, I called this out weeks ago. Weeks ago. Weeks ago. We lost to Arsenal. I called it out. There is no plan B. There is no in-game tactical management from this manager. I don't care what all the positive brigade have got to say right now. We are mid-table. We're 10th. We are 10th. We're already five points off top four. It ain't good enough. It simply is not good enough. I don't care anymore. And for me, I've said this for weeks. We win a couple of games, we lose a couple. We win a couple of games, we lose a couple. We are sitting currently 10th in the Premier League. We've won five of 11 games, which is less than 50%. Fulham have one more, have a higher win percentage than us. Newcastle have a higher win percentage than us. Villa, Brighton, Forest. Man City next. Knowing Tottenham, we'll probably beat City. Make sure you go smash a like on the video if you haven't already. And make sure you have subscribed to the channel. We just hit 30,000 subscribers. So big up to every single one of you. We are steamrolling our way towards 31,000. But honestly, guys. This football team stresses me out. It really, really does stress me out. We start the game. I looked at the lineup and I thought, Do you know what? I fancy us. I predicted 4 0. I predicted 4 0. I thought Dominic Solanke today would bag 17 shots against eight. Serious questions now have got to be asked on Vicario. I was told this guy, I wanted David Raya. I wanted David Raya when he was linked to us from Brentford. I went mad we didn't get him. This was the 11. Vicario, Porro, Romero, Draguti, New Doggy, Kulu, Bensoncourt, Saar, Johnson, Solanke, Son. Bensoncourt has to start every single game. Every single game. Saar Sartore today. Kulu today. Look at the bench. Pesuma, Madison, Werner. Why is Werner coming on? The guy, we know the guy simply is, look at that, look at that bib switch side. We've just given them their first win, just like we did Palace. Robin Hood of the Premier League. And Leon Delap has scored 50% of hip switch goals. Mate, it, it, it's not good enough. Like, I don't care what whatever positive brigade want to start talking about this, it is not good enough. We spent £120 million in the summer. So what's the excuse? Is it Levy out? Is it Levy out? We've just been beaten by Ipswich at our own ground. The game was open. It was end to end. It was a basketball game in that first half. A basketball game. And like, I looked at that team and thought, Son, Delanke, Romero, Kulu, you're the four players I expect to step up today. Useless. Absolutely useless. Categorically not good enough. And do you know what? Big up to Kevin Sherlock. Big up to you, mate. Proper, proper, proper Tottenham fan. Been agreeing with me for the longest time. Big up to you, mate. Hope you're well. He's been saying it for me to age, for absolute ages. Ages. About this manager. You know, we'll talk about the goal. Don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic finish. Than Samodix or Samodix, how do you pronounce it? I think he was at Leeds. Was he at Leeds? I think he was. It's a good over a kick. But how is he allowed that much space in and around the penalty penalty area? How? How is he allowed that much space in the penalty area? Explain to me. Samodix, an average striker, is allowed countless space in our box with Romero, who's supposed to be our best defender. I've, I've said I've said this to you guys for the longest time. Van der Ven's hamstring, when it goes, because it will go, when it goes, what is going to be the narrative? Where's Ange Postacoglu's plan B? Ipswich and Crystal Palace. 
two terrible football sides have beaten us in the last three games. We go 1-0 down. All right, fair enough. Just before halftime, who steps up? Liam Delap. And I'm like, mate, 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 Liam Delap, you know. Liam Delap. Absolutely diabolical goalkeeping from Vicario. And we're at halftime. We're 2-0 down. The Tractor Boys are on course to get their first Premier League win of the season. Where's the changes? Where's the second half bounce? No changes at half time. We had the ball in the back of the net from Dominic Solanke. It's ruled out by VAR. And I'm like, all jokes aside now, genuine, I'm not even taking the mick anymore. I'm genuinely not. I'm trying to be objective. I'm trying to be more consistent with my takes on Spurs. I'm not getting emotional. But this season, we have lost to Arsenal. Okay, fair enough. They're a better side. But we've lost to Newcastle. We've lost to Ipswich. We've lost to Crystal Palace. And we've lost uh, one other game. We drew to Leicester. Yeah, we get the goal. All right, fair enough. Pedro Porro gets the assist. Fantastic. It's too late. It's too late. Serious questions have got to be asked about this manager. Can he get enough out of this squad? I, I, I genuinely don't think so. I'm looking at us right now. We are a mid-table side. And you look at the fixtures we've got coming up. You look at the 11. You look at the fact that Madison's coming on in the 84th minute. Our most creative player. Don't get me wrong. I think Madison should hold the bench. But in the 84th minute, bring him on in the 60th. We're 2-0 down. Half an hour to play. What are these substitutions from Ange Foster Coglu? He brings on Basuma for Benton Core in the 84th minute. Jack Clark, our old Tottenham boy. Like, it's too late. Vicario has made his 25th, 25th home start for Tottenham this season. Across the 25th, 25th starts, Vicario has just three clean sheets. The joint fewest by any Spurs keeper across their 25 home matches. We've just lost to Ipswich. That Man United side that's diabolical, that is getting absolutely ripped to shreds, is only one point behind us. Genuinely. Serious questions have got to be asked about the manager, about the tactics, about in-game managerial substitutions, about in-game managerial um, decisions. Look at us. We've lost five games. No one in the top 10 has lost more games than us. Let's have a look. Look, Brentford, Bournemouth lost more. Man United have lost more. Leicester, West Ham, Everton and Ipswich. Like, yes, it's fine margins. If we would have won today, we would have been above Chelsea right now. But the difference is we didn't win and we are not good enough right now. We've won two of our last five Premier League games. Serious questions have got to be asked about this manager. Is he good enough? We're 10th. We're fucking 10th in the league right now. In the league, we're 10th. This ain't good enough. It is not categorically good enough. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint people, but it ain't good enough. I don't, I don't, I don't care what anyone says. Let me know your thoughts down below. We have just lost it. Look at the teams we've lost to. Ipswich. We've got a draw with Leicester. And we lost to Crystal Palace. 18th and 17th in the Premier League. The only one win they've both had in the last five games. Who was it against? Oh, it was against us. What a surprise. What a surprise. Now, when are people going to start calling it out? Am I going to be negative? Am I going to be this... You know, Tottenham fan who doesn't support Spurs, apparently. Not good enough. Not good enough. Simply. Just lost to Ipswich. Lost to Palace. Poor in the game. 17 shots. About five on target. Dominate possession. That's basically us to a T. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. Drop a like. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel. Um, the road to 50k is well and truly on. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. I am.